I joined this lobby and wanted to drive around. You know, nothing too crazy. I checked the player list and didn't see any try hardish looking player up in there, so it was perfect. I was trying to gather people for my motorcycle club so we could drive around with bikes in formation. Then suddenly this guy in a heli starts to attack me. So I hopped out of my car and got active. I noticed that he's a noob, so I no-scoped him here and told him not to come after me because I simply wanted to chill. Then suddenly this guy decided to run me over, and the guy from the heli started to mock me in chat, so I told him to do it again because he was trying to test me. As I was waiting for him, I decided to play around with this Rose kid. While farming Rose, I noticed this green guy here in a helicopter. I think he might have been modding to be able to do this, but I am not sure. I just kept walking after seeing all that. I hopped into my car, then suddenly this kid on the oppressor starts to attack me. I knew he'd shoot, so I boosted my car to dodge his missile. I wanted to hop out of my car, but I didn't expect it to take this long to stop in the snow. I was too slow getting out, and he got me. I don't even know why so many people are targeting me. The guy on the oppressor started to run away from me after getting a kill. I told him to come back, but he kept on running away. Then suddenly I see the first guy who had killed me flying above me with another heli. After hitting him once, he started to run as well. So I decided to job teleport to one of my rooftops close to the previous kid who had killed me with his oppressor to snipe him off of it. He was a little laggy, but it's not really bothering me as you can see. Oppressors aren't a match to me anymore. I killed the guy once more, then got off of the building. I checked the map to see where the blue guy was at and noticed that he was getting close to me, so I was getting ready to snipe him. Bro was flabbergasted, and he started to run again. While I was trying to get a car, this new guy suddenly came at me with his heli. I really don't understand why they're all attacking me. And there he goes. It's almost like they're all friends with each other because they know when they need to come back to surprise me. I messed up my first person mode here and got killed. And suddenly, yet again, a new guy starts to attack me. I tried to get them back, but I got killed by a scramjet. I saw the guys coming, so I was getting cover behind a tree. I started to Ewo for this guy. I heard the insurgent coming again, so I went to a tree to take cover. The oppressor came back. This entire clip is so chaotic. I decided to teleport to one of my rooftops to snipe the guy out of his scramjet. I then got off of the roof to fight him. After the snipe, he instantly went into another scramjet. Check this out. I love the snipe. Bro didn't know what hit him. He really needed time to process that snipe. I teleported to another rooftop of mine to school the others who were after me.
Rose really sent the mercenaries after me. I proceeded to farm them all. Watch me hit this kek. The scramjet spammer came at me with a heli this time. I wanted to give Horse a chance, but he didn't get the hint. and he ghosted to me. So I went ahead and started a CEO mission to remove his ghost. How convenient, landed right next to me to get sniped. The barcode was camping on top of this building, so I grabbed my homing launcher and flare gun to finish him off. This guy was missing a couple of times. I decided to give him a chance and not take him out because I knew he would leave otherwise. He still tried to get a cheap kill on me. Watch this snipe. Watch him standing there. The guy who had killed me on his oppressor left the game. And suddenly, while I was waiting for someone to attack me, this guy started to lose his mind. So I asked him what mod I used against him. He simply left after seeing my question. Anyone who had attacked me had left the lobby, so it was time to join a new lobby. And before I could even move, I heard people fighting already, so it was time to check up on the fight. I saw this guy here farming people on his oppressor. He ended up exploding himself. He was obviously very bad at the game. I decided to leave him alone and drive my car since he was clueless. Then I suddenly see this oppressor approaching me and he shot a rocket. So it was time to show him my rockets. I got out of my car to fight him. This red guy was getting pretty annoying. Bro finally got his first kill. Watch me kick him. He spawned an oppressor and ran away.
Suddenly, another guy starts to target me. And the kid on his oppressor comes back. And suddenly a modder gave everyone off the radar. We will see who had done it later on. It's going to be much harder to find people since we can no longer see them on the map. Since I kind of know the spawns in the city, I will have the advantage over everyone with thermals enabled. I teleported to one of my rooftops. This will be perfect since I can spot many people from up there. All I had to do was shoot rockets. Rockets enhance the thermal view and any dot I see while shooting rockets are other players. Someone started to vote kick me. And another one. And there he rage quits. Take a look at the off radar countdown. Notice how it's working properly now. This means that the player who rage quit was the one who enabled the mod. Now that he's left, the mod has stopped working. Here's a little free for all fight that I had a couple days ago. I was getting some insane snipes on here. I saw many people asking me to upload some airport fights, so I hope you will enjoy this. 